The NFL draft wrapped up yesterday, but bet your sweet cheeks the minute that sucker ended, these teams were hot on the phones trying to scoop up these UDFAs. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. We're going to take a look at every team's undrafted free agent class thus far. But what's crackalacking? It's your boy, Bro Schmo, just in case you did not know. So go ahead, become bro and subscribe. Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content as always. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's have that nice, beautiful football uh, discourse. Little program and note tomorrow, you're going to have a 2024 nfl mock draft it's never too early to look at next year's class and i'm gonna have my uh best steals and best reaches videos uh coming out during the week but also a special thanks to diy oh jay if you want a custom uh made a uh, jersey baby then check out diy oj and use promo code broschmo 10 in all caps uh, and it'll get you 10% off of your jersey. They got hoodies. They got all kinds of stuff. So if you want to support the channel and you want to look pretty sick while doing it, this was from them, then check that sucker out. But let's get into this. As I know, NFL.com doesn't have everyone listed. So I have, uh, what is it, Pro Football Network here as well. But uh, I just visually like how NFL.com looks better. Uh, it, it just does. Uh, they picked up Jacob Slade, who's who's fine. He's a good high motor player. Solid, didn't surprise, or I wasn't surprised that he ended up going UDFA. And I mean, look at their overall class here: Black Whitehart. I don't know if I expect him to make the roster. Amari Demacado. I can never get his name right. Uh, was actually pretty solid for TCU. So that's definitely someone to make a make a note for who could make the roster. They also. Snuck in an Arizona State prospect, uh, Kyle Solel. Solel? I don't know. He he actually tested pretty well as pro day. Let me pull up his numbers. Where I got you, Kyle? Right here. Uh, yeah, like came in 6'3", 231. And it was really the agility drills. Sub 6'9", 3 cone. Uh, was solid enough in the explosive drills. Ran a 4-6, so pretty solid. I mean, not bad for a UDFA. Uh, I guess I, I kind of like this. Uh, was it Qu Quivane White out of Georgia State? Was he at the... I think it was the NFL PA Bowl. Where, where was he? Yeah, it was the NFL PA Bowl. And I thought it was fine. He was just super undersized, so you're looking probably at a slot guy. Uh, despite playing a majority of the time on the outside, he's 5'8", 185. And, yeah, uh, I don't know. It's all right. It's all right. There's, like, again, there's, like, I, I really like those two names right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Atlanta Falcons, as this is what they got listed on NFL Network. Uh, I actually write. Uh, really like Harris here as a mainly a return player. Like he's got some legit return skills. Akena, uh, I'm not gonna say his last name because I'm gonna butcher it. But he's just like a solid four three end. Uh, so I'm kind of curious to see schematically what the defensive front's gonna look like for the Falcons and some of their other guys here. <laughs> Chase Bryce. So this is my first time looking at it. So you might get some. Oh, what <laughs> but uh yeah chase price kind of uh, whatever he's gonna be in the xfl uh ooh, oh man y'all remember when i liked mike jones and then uh coach o just was like oh no you can't defend the run so you're never gonna get on the field and then this year didn't really get on the field a ton uh yeah i i used to like him i had a lot of hype uh on him after transferring from clemson to lsu but Justin Marshall is actually a pretty good kid. He tests out pretty darn well. One of the bigger receivers in this class. Let's go ahead. Find him. Uh, he was receiver 63 for me in this class. 6'2", 210. Ran a 4-4-1. Pretty darn solid. 38 in the vert. It's pretty darn good. He looked good during the uh, NFL PA Bowl. But yeah, it's all right. L legitimately, like I look at this and I think, okay, Marshall, I like the return capabilities of Harris. Uh, and Kenna is just solid, just solid player. Uh, the Ravens, though, had a really, really good haul thus far. Uh, didn't watch Maryland, so uh, I guess that's my bad. Didn't 
could get to him. Uh, but Corey Mayfield, I actually kind of like at a UTSA. Got good size. Where 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 are you at, Mayfield? Uh, in terms of girth, like dude's one ninety five, so that ain't half bad. He ran a four for one, so he was fast. Moving skills not great, but I mean he's a UDFA. For a reason, Tayshawn Manning is not a bad pickup. Curious if he sticks. Uh, this is basically uh, Travis uh, Vakelic is kind of a Patrick Richard type. Like or Richards, he's going to be uh, mainly viewed as kind of a fullback tight end too. Uh, where did I have? I had him not too far down, right? Oh, there you are. Uh, so, oh, no, you could probably stick as a block and tight end. It doesn't necessarily have to be a fullback. He's kind of, he's got good size to him. But of course, Keonta, uh, Keaton Mitchell, literally the human joystick, uh, joystick. This dude is, is a Madden character with how he can rattle off moves, great return skills, good ability as a pass catcher. Let's see if uh, they didn't list off any other guys. Brandon uh, Kuyper. Uh, I wouldn't expect too much from him. Just kind of solid guard that at best probably could be depth in the future. Uh, let's see. Oh, I liked Owen Wright from uh, Monmouth. Um, here, where, he, he was one of the huskier guys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had the lower center of gravity, 5'9", 214. Ran a 4'6", but I think, I, I mean, that's fine. Again, he's kind of a girthier dude. Uh, but I kind of liked him, another guy from the, P, uh, the NFL PA Bowl that I did like. Uh, Mitchell's kind of the big get here. Yeah, I don't see anyone that's really wet in the palette. Well, I guess Dante Demas. Uh Probably could have been a early day two, late day three guy in 2022. If not for the injury, he was really having a good year into that Iowa game. Uh, this year, it just felt like Maryland had too many too many receivers. Didn't know what to do with them all. So there's a couple of good gets for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Buffalo Bills on here. It just has Jalen Wayne, who out of South Alabama is related to Reggie Wayne. Uh, a heftier receiver that's just not all that fast. Uh, what was his uh actual size? I know he's like a four six guy. Where yet? Where yet? Where yet? Where yet? Oh, here we go. Six two two ten. So it's not like huge, but yeah, not like the greatest movement skills. What else? What else we got from Buffalo here? uh james patterson uh oh dj dale's actually not bad gets you a little meat in the middle oh there we go jordan mims i liked him a lot after ronnie rivers opted out of the bowl game last year fresno he stepped up looked really good i was kind of shocked he didn't get drafted but then we kind of saw like once teams kind of got their running backs like the seemed like no one wanted to touch any after that and we just saw a ton of running backs just fall but uh, Richard Gorage, I wasn't too impressed with him in the Senior Bowl. Kind of assumed he might be a UDFA. Uh, going to the Carolina Panthers camp, people's uh, strange. Kind of built like a receiver. Uh, he's got good pass blocking skills. He had a couple of bad drops during the game, uh, the Senior Bowl game, unfortunately. And I think that kind of like really, oh, sealed the deal for him. I don't want to say sealed the deal, but. Yeah, not not great. Uh, Leota here used to be a Northwestern prospect. I, I thought he looked pretty solid at Senior Bowl. I was kind of surprised he didn't sneak into the back end of the first. Uh, Jalen Redman, I mean, that, that dude was such a tweener. Like, honestly, I thought there was going to be a lot of teams that were just like, we have no idea what to do with him. Uh, Bumper pool, they got the best name of the draft, though. The better linebackers, probably Austin. Uh, I'm not going to butcher your last name, but dude tested out like a freak at UNLV's uh pro day let me pull that up he, he is 6'1 223 but dude ran dude dude's explosive drills 38 and a half in the vert 123 inches 
in the broad. That's just a nutty. They all go, oh, okay. You got a couple of good guys right here. And uh, Nick Bolden, they list him as safety. Uh, could be, could end up being a slot guy. Here, let's pull him up. Yeah, yeah, he, pl he played a lot in the slot for Kent State. Though he's got good size. Maybe he just stays as a box safety. Dece Did actually pretty decent in the uh, test, though. Interesting. Uh, we got Rajon, uh, Rajon Wright. I don't know if I expect him to really make the team. What other guys do they have here that maybe they missed? Some people are going to like Nash Jensen. I think he's kind of whatevs. Oh, uh, no, those are probably just the, the only names. Like, Leota, I think, actually has a good chance to make the roster. Uh, Peoples is fine. I'm kind of curious. I think Bumper Pool, just because the special team work, man, could could make the roster. I don't know. We'll see. Moving on to the Chicago Bears. Tyson Baggett uh, or Badgett. I don't know. Now that now the draft's over, I don't know how to say his name anymore. Uh, whatever. Uh... They got a kicker, though. That ain't half bad out of Syracuse. There's going to be could get good kickers. This is UDFA. Is this what it is? This can't be the uh, only guys they brought in. No, nope, it's not. Uh, we got Dijon Warren here, who's more of a slot guy. Uh, you got Mason Clark, slot guy. Uh, wow, yeah, no. They're UDFA uh, pulled. Ain't all that great. I'm going to be real, real with y'all. I think uh, the kicker was the best haul. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Uh, the Bengals. Jackson Kirkland. Really good get. I like that. Does he stick with the squad? Like, will he make the team? I think there's a good chance, man. He's good depth. He's ready now. Uh, and who else did they pull in? Uh Devonsha Maxwell is not too bad. A little undersized at sub 300, but not bad. Oh, Calvin Tyler. I actually really liked him. Was it? It was. It could have been the NFL PA Bowl as well, right? It probably was like the Tropic Gold Bowl. Where did I have you? No, it was the Hula Bowl. Okay. I follow a lot of bowl circuits, guys. Uh, oh, Shaka Hayward. Oh, that's good, too. I thought he could have snuck into the back end of the uh, the seventh round. Uh, Shedrick Jackson. Uh, not a lot of production, but a really good athlete at a good size here. I might as well pull up his. Let's take, uh, or at least his measurements. He got 6'1", 193, 4'2", 8", 40. He had 38 and a half in the uh, the broad 133 inches so a couple of interesting guys I think Jackson Kirkland's the best of the bunch I would say Shaka Hayward though is pretty close behind him uh, the Cleveland Browns they took Hassan Hall I was late to him to the process but I was like uh, he's a UDFA uh, Mohamed uh, Diabari he was the Florida transfer to Utah oh and they list him specifically as an edge oh I wonder if Pro Football Network did that yeah they listed him as an edge all right so let's go ahead and pull up I had him as linebacker because he actually got work but I mean was basically playing as a linebacker but but uh uh, they list him as edge, but if anything, he's probably more of a Sam linebacker than, huh? Yeah, he's got to be more of a Sam linebacker. Because he, he's he got 32-inch arm length, 6'3", 290, or uh, 229. And he ran a 4.52. I get it. Like, the movement skill. Yeah, no, you're playing this guy at linebacker. Why do they list him off his edge? He was a good pass rusher, though. He had 26 pressures and seven sacks. But he's not an edge. Uh, Charlie Thomas, he's just stupid undersized. Ronnie Hickman. Ooh. He's, he's going to have a tough time making the roster, but his special with his special team ability, I think uh, I think he could have a chance to stick. It's just, man, they're, they're already so good in the defensive backfield. 
Uh, Tanner McAllister is just a guy I never really loved during the process. Uh, Jeremiah Martin's pretty darn solid. Oh. oh, they list Charlie Thomas twice. Okay. Uh, dude, Lonnie Phelps. I hope he makes this roster. And if he does, it's going to be because of his special team work. But golly, he is so... He is... He has got a huge motor. Oh, man. This is actually one of my favorite hauls. Like, I really like Hickman. I had I had a uh, top 150 grade on him. Uh, Martin's nice. Phelps is great. I thought he should have been drafted. So, actually, this is one of my more favorite hauls. Uh, hauls. Hauls? Yeah. Didn't even talk about um, Mahmoud uh, Diabati. All right, Dallas Cowboys. They got Earl Bostick. Uh, Daryl Johnson's interesting. He could fly off the edge. Oh, they signed a couple of edge players. Tyrus Wheat. Here. Let's pull this down. David Durden's interesting. Um, he's an older receiver, but he's been really productive at West Florida. Uh, oh, they brought in uh, Hunter Loop Key. Okay. And Isaiah Lant. Oh, no. Dude, the Cowboys brought in a lot of guys I like. A lot of guys I like, boys and girls. So, like, I like Bostick. I think he has a chance to stick his depth, but it's going to be difficult because Cowboys got a good line. Uh, Daryl Johnson's not half bad, but Isaiah Land, I, oh, I like Land a lot. I think he can make the squad. Jalen Cropper, dude. Jalen Cropper, that's nuts. I'm pretty sure Princeton Fant is another one of these guys that are kind of like a fringe fullback. Yeah, 6'1", 243. So they brought two of those guys in, so they really want to get fullback in there. Uh, TJ Bass is solid. Don't see him making the squad, though. Uh, Miles Brook is, is pretty good. He comes in as depth. He could end up making the squad. Wow, this is one of my... Oh, after I just talked all that good stuff about Cleveland... This is a really good UDFA class. Let's go to the Denver Broncos. They brought in Taylor Grimes. I only saw maybe a game and a half. Wasn't like wild. Art Green had an okay draft process, but is that it? Alex, uh, was it Pawlowski? He, no, they already got the offensive line is going to be tough to make for, uh, the Broncos. Emmanuel Wilson's an interesting name that could end up uh, making the roster. We could bring him up uh, 5'10, 228, but he ran a, yeah, 228, ran a 4'5'7. If they want to keep on a bruiser, man, that's their guy. Thomas Incombe is a good pickup, though. Oh, low key, man. I know it's going to be tough because I think it's just going to be tough in general to make uh, the Broncos roster as a uh, offensive lineman but henry bird honestly looked good in the few a uh, couple of games i saw i'm curious did i did i end up listing him as a interior i think i did where he at? here he is he's 6'5 310 35 and a half inch arms 82 and a half inch wingspan Probably could probably place tackle. Like the Tesla Tesla was pretty darn good. But I think he could kick into guard if you really need him to. So he's a name to watch out for. Uh they they got PJ Mustafer. He's a very unexcited prospect, just kind of a big meaty boy. Uh but they, they got some guys, not half bad. Not half bad. Uh first name I see there for the Detroit Lions is Adrian Martinez, stop. Uh, Mo, uh, Mo, uh, Mo Ibrahim's a pretty good get. There's uh, Chase Coda. He's a bigger guy, though, right? I think he could be maybe a tight end. Was he that big? I'm trying to remember. This is why you write everything down, boys and girls. All right, am I literally going to shuffle through over 100 guys to find... Chase Coda. Come on, Oregon, Oregon. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, here he is. Ah, 63201. So, yeah, he's not making the move to tight end. 
Uh, Zach Morton was he? I'm trying to remember, was he the Akron guy that had a pretty good pro day? Maybe. It was all right. It was all right. I th you know what it was. I probably looked at those freaking. I looked at those movement skills. But Brandon Joseph, I like that. Uh, does he make the squad? Uh, that's going to be a good question. Um. Starlin Thomas. Okay, they brought in some really good players. Connor Galvin, I think, actually moves into guard, so that's where he's going to compete. But they brought in Joseph, and then they brought in Starlin Thomas. So it's going to be interesting to see if either of those guys make the squad. I think Thomas makes the squad. They're that kind of that thin, or at least I think they need they need competition at the corner uh, position. But that's a, that's an all right class for Detroit Packers. They don't list anybody. What do what do we got here? Many sad. Oh, more. Okay, Christian Morgan was an interesting cat. Uh, someone. It was actually someone in the combat section uh, during one of the walk the mocks. Uh, turned me on to him. Uh, he's six foot two hundred. Uh, not a long, not the long longest guy, but. Four five two forty, forty and a half inch vert. Like looked good in the movement uh, drills too. Decent enough tackler. A little bit of slot experience. So that's someone to probably watch out for the Packers. Perhaps there's Malik Keith, uh, Kadeem Telfort though. He was drafted by the USFL. So kind of curious. Is he's more of a project? Does he even make the roster? A uh, former Florida player. So. Uh, all right, class Texans. Uh, I like Xavier Valade. He's kind of a home run threat. Ollie Gay legitimately has a chance to make the roster there. Any other? Okay, Jared Wayne. I, me and Hail Mary Sports like to Jared Wayne. Tyler Beach is probably a guard. Uh, Zier's kind of whatever. Yeah, no, I think uh, names right here are Voliday, Wayne, and uh, Ali Gay. Those are the names to watch out for. That's all right, class. Colts. Emil Gore is, I could see he, he probably has a good chance of making the roster. Caleb Sampson's kind of all right. Man, Titus Swain, I thought could get drafted. Uh, it's just the red flags with, like, I said red flags. The red flag, him deciding to leave Wyoming initially as a transfer because him and the coaching staff, like, no, he was actually dismissed. Him and the coaching staff had a falling out. Uh, he didn't like their scheme, and they didn't like his attitude. <laughs> uh, but he was good. He was a good player. Uh, any other peeps here? Uh, some people really liked Cody Crest or Trest. I didn't really get around to him. No, I don't think there's really anyone else to talk about. Titus Swen. Yeah, Titus Swen's really the only guy to talk about there. Uh, let's keep rolling. Jacksonville Jaguars. Only name I really recognize there. Is this cat and he's a bit of a tweener yeah, let's see what we got here oh elijah cooks you know he might be a solid big boy receiver but it's hard to make a squad as a udfa he's got pretty special team experience there's leonard taylor as a uh a, a tight end but yeah no they didn't really do much uh oh cam jones that's a good get man does he even make that linebacker core for kansas city Oh, I got my doubts. I got my doubts. I kind of like uh, Anderson Hardy as a guard in the NFL. Oh, they brought in some speed. Legit, De Daenerys Prince could make this roster. Like, honestly, looking at the other names, I think he's probably got the best chance to. Yeah. Oh, they got Truman Jones out of Harvard. Uh, yeah, no, I think uh, these are the... Whoops. These are the names of note. Uh, but I think actually Prince has the better chance of making the roster for the Kansas City Chiefs. 
Uh, Aziz Hearn is the only guy listed for the Raiders here. That can't be true. Uh, Dalton Wagner's all right. Jaden Grant's all right. Oh, okay. Curtis McLennan, probably the only guy that has a shot at making the roster there for the Raiders. So uh, they didn't really do much in terms of UDFAs. Uh, oh my gosh, Chargers. Jeez Louise. They went on a sign-in spree. Let's see if we could even talk about any of these guys. Oh, excuse me, moi. All right, so Elijah Dotson, I believe he's another guy that had a low center of gravity. Uh, where is he at? North Colorado. No. Yeah, 5'9", 202 pounds, but I was pretty low on him anyway. Uh, we got Brevin Allen is like these two names are the next ones to stand out. Uh, Brevin Allen and Andrew Farmer, but Andrew Farmer is pretty undersized. Brevin Allen has got like sick length and that's about it. 34 and a half inch arms. You had Farmer, 6'3", 250, so not completely undersized, but like 32 and a quarter inch hands. Not great, but those were the next guys that... Oh, Jared, I hope Gerard Clark has a chance of, of freaking making this squad. The dude is former tight end, now playing nose tackle. The guy's got meat to him, but he has so many medical red flags. I hope he makes a roster. Uh, I was a big fan of Mikel uh, Jones. Uh, a guy that just kind of slid down boards. Did he even get any tested in? Did he test out at Syracuse's pro day? Uh, I had him. He was linebacker 17 for me. Yeah, he didn't run. But yeah, none of his numbers popped out. It's a little bit sad. Uh, Taiwan Mullen has a chance of being... Maybe uh, a slot guy to make the team. You could say the same thing about Tyler Baker Williams. Uh, ooh, I like AJ Finley. Yo, I like their class thus far. Taking some shots on guys. Yeah, those are the only ones that uh, stand out to me. Like Mullen's undersized outside corner. He's moving to the slot. Tyler Baker Williams did most his damage from the slot there for NC State. Uh, but like another name kind of popped out to me. I mean, Cameron Brown's kind of like whatevs, but yeah, now AJ Finley, man, the, the dude was a ball hack, ball hawk. It was, I think it was the NFL PA bowl. Or, no, was it the shrine? I think it was the shrine where like during one of his practices, he had freaking three, uh, interceptions. It was the shrine. So yeah, not, not half bad. Uh, Rams, uh, Rashad Torrance. I get why they pick him up, man. They're, they're struggling to find more safety help after Tyler Rapp and, uh, Nick Scott left. Oh, they got a kicker via free, uh, UDFA. Chris Dunn, Christopher Dunn. And he won the, the Groza this past season. I'm surprised they didn't sign the, uh, UCF lawn snapper. Yeah, kind of an unremarkable UDFA class. Like, their kicker and Torrance are probably the biggest names to note there. Uh, Miami Dolphins. I didn't even look at James Blackman. Uh, Brandon Pili, uh He was just a big nose tackle at USC, I believe. Did we bring it? Oh, I I liked Brandon. I liked Christopher Brooks. During, during the NFL PA Bowl, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. Was it the Hula Bowl? May have been the Hula Bowl. Let's see. Where yet? It was the Hula Bowl. But uh, he was, he's six foot 232, ran a 258, 37 inch vert. Uh, I thought he, he was the guy that had the most patience, the best vision there at the Hula Bowl. I was kind of hoping he may have may have made another bowl after that. Hey, Bennett Williams. His brother, uh, I believe, is at 
Oregon as well. Oh, we got Aubrey Miller. Look, we got a thumper. We got a thumper as a UDFA. That ain't bad. Uh, they list uh, Scaffy as a tackle. That dude's going straight to guard. Oh, brought in, brought in a uh, good. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Uh, there's Vandenberg from Illinois State. Yeah, ain't really much to talk about there for the Dolphins. Uh, looking at the Vikings, they grabbed a return man and Malik Knowles. Uh, Ben Sims is actually a solid, uh, tight end there. Uh, Alan Ali at a TCU is not half bad. Oh, they, they're the ones that picked up Andre Carter. Ooh, not half bad. <gasps> they picked up Ivan Pace Jr. as well. Dang. All right. This is actually one of my favorite classes right there. Just for those two picks, Carter and Pace. Oh, anyone else that might... Uh, Jalen Williams wasn't half bad. I thought he was probably a draftable grade. Let's see. Where did I have the Indiana corner? Uh, not draftable grade. I had him as a priority UDFA. Okay, that's not half bad. But let's, uh, let's see what, what picks were not. Uh, seeing here on NFL Network. So again, like I actually feel really good about those three. Uh, we got Ivan Pace. Oh, they got Jackie uh, Jackie Chen for Pace. Yeah, outside of that, whatever. But ah, man, I really like that class. Uh, the Patriots, they only list Malik Cunningham on NFL Network. So, and, oh, they only have three guys taken. Oh, I liked Johnny Lubkin until I'm pretty sure he ran terribly at his pro day. Six foot five, two six, uh, 264, ran a 4A1, so not terrible. Let me tell you, Kamari Averitt from, uh, Bethune Cookman, uh, we ran a 502 and i was like this dude looked so much faster at the nfl pa bowl what happened uh love kid might not be that bad of a get though dude's got length he's a good blocker but really nothing to talk about here with the patriots uh the saints they grab uh sir Roderick thompson i don't see him making the roster shaq davis has a chance he's gonna be battling out with at perry about uh depending on who they want to bring back for uh, as a big receiver. Joel Wilson's all right. Uh, Mark Evans, they list him at tackle. He's going to be a guard. Oh, I love Nick. I, I love they bring in the local guy, Nick Anderson. Super undersized, but this dude gets after it. He is he is an absolute dog. I think he's like, though, 5'10", though. And it kind of kills his stock. Yeah. Oh, five, ended up being 5'9", 230. Ugh. But he tested fast enough. Do you put him maybe in the nickel? Dang, there's an orgy in New Orleans. Watch out. I used to live there. So, yeah, I, I can believe an orgy being there. Uh, let's see what other guys they may have picked up here. Anthony Johnson. Doubt he makes the roster. Yeah, probably the bigger names here are uh, Shaq Davis and Joel Wilson. Those are... Probably the big names to look at, along with Anthony Orgy. The Giants, uh, Dante Johnson's all right, or Deontay Johnson, however it's pronounced. Uh, Bryce Ford Whedon, okay. Uh, that's actually a much bigger one than the one NFL Network showing us. So, uh, Habakkuk Bodenado, I think there's a good chance he could make the roster. Not a lot of upside, but good depth player, but Bryce Ford Whedon, ooh. Let's see. Let's see if let's see how he looks in camp, man. That he's actually got me a little excited. Uh Khalif Hall uh Halasi. Good luck making that roster, man. But he's really good. He's very scheme uh versatile. Uh, EJ Jenkins. I don't see him making the roster. Uh oh, they grabbed Travis Dye. They got a home run threat there. Okay. 
Uh, Tim Demerat, he's gonna go in there and what? Compete with uh, <laughs> Zach Wilson. Um, yeah, no, best name there is Khalif Halassi. Yeah, I think that's the only name to really talk about that could probably make the roster. Uh, Joseph Nagata going to Philly. Hope their class is better than that. Okay. Ben Vance uh, Summerin, who had a freak uh, pro day. Six foot two, 231. Ran a 4.45, four, a 29 on the bench, 42 and a half in the vert, 131 in the freaking broad hello uh janon Hasselwood's also a guy actually that's better than nagata Hasselwood did test well initially tested better on his pro day but someone who was very good after the catch trevor reed which the dolphins brought him in is what it is but uh makai gardner though is an interesting name did the eagles also bring in eli ricks or did i make that up no, it says they brought in Eli Ricks. I'm surprised he's not up here. Oh, he is. I'm stupid. I passed his name up. Ha! Glad I noticed that before I started ranting. Uh, Eli Ricks, biggest name. Uh, Brady Russell ain't half bad, but he ain't making the roster. So Ricks, Hasselwood, Gardner, and Reed. Those are the big names. That's actually a really good class. And Van Summerin. That's actually a really good UDFA class. Uh... I think that's the best UDFA, uh, UDFA class so far. All right. Pittsburgh actually brought in a lot of different guys. Trevor Downing's like, he's okay. Uh, I liked David per, uh, Perlaz. Perlaz? Can't remember how to say his name. Uh, dude really gets after it, but suboptimal uh, measurements. And uh, yeah, no, that's actually probably the best name there Ugh. pittsburgh was like we drive so well we we don't even really care about care about picking up anyone dude san fran already already better than your draft this guy is so versatile in the defensive backfield he has he has reps on the outside in the slot and at its safety dude that's already better than their draft class uh, this cat's interesting. He tested out pretty decently, but I know Hawaii kind of has a funky offense, and he allowed like 15, or he had 15 penalties or something, which is kind of ludicrous. Uh, Joey Fisher's a good pickup too. Uh, Jack Coletto, uh, he's he's gonna come in and like he could be a special teamer. He, if if anything, I think Avery Young and Jack Coletto make the roster. I think those guys just got good special team abilities. Okay, let's take a gander at the Seattle Seahawks. Hey, Holton Ehlers. I actually really liked him. I actually really liked him. Oh, okay, Matt Landers. That's already the biggest name. Don't sleep on Cam Washington. He, he's kind of a tweener-ish, but don't sleep on him. But yeah, no, Matt Landers, easily the biggest name. Oh, man, I think he competes. I think he competes for being like the wide receiver five or four there. They brought Jack Bobo. Okay. Okay. I like that. I like that thus far. Who else we got going here? Lance Boykins ain't bad. All right. So the receivers are really the only names I want to talk about. Jack, uh, Jake Bobo and uh, where you at? Matt Landers. Uh, I think... Probably good chance. I'm curious if Camp Bright. Oh, they grabbed it. I didn't even see MJ Anderson. That's a good get. That's a good get. There were times where he outshined uh, Will McDonald. But to be fair, they never put Will McDonald in a good position. So Seahawks actually got a pretty good UDFA class right there. Uh, there ain't no way Cade Warner is the only guy at Tampa Bay picked up. Uh, they grabbed the center from Oklahoma. That's kind of whatever. Christian, I, I know some people really liked this cat out of Rutgers. Ooh, there we go. Jeremy Banks. Jeremy Banks, that's a big name. Kayvon Merriweather, that's a that's a big name. That's a, Those are two really good pickups there. 
Uh, Rakim Jarrett is a really good pickup. Ronnie Brown was a dude that tested out really well for Shepard. Uh, he's 5'11", 187, so a bit undersized, but 445 ain't nothing to scoff at. This is the cat that had over almost 600 receiving yards last year and over 1,800 rushing yards for Shepard. So that ain't nothing to scoff at. Oh, they got my guy Sean Tucker too. I love Sean Tucker. Uh, low key, Tampa Bay, really, really good. Oh, this this might be one of the better or one of the best UDFA classes. Uh, didn't even get to uh, the Virginia Tech tackle. Insane length. I think he tested decent enough too, right? Uh, he's 6'5", 223. Yeah, his testing was nothing special, but it wasn't bad. Oh, he had bad bench numbers, though. That's probably why that dude fell off a cliff. Tampa Bay, I think that's probably takes the cake now for my favorite class. Uh, it's up there with Seattle. Seattle had a really good one, too. Might be recency bias. Um, Karis Jackson, okay, whatever. Thomas Rush, they list him as edge. He ain't going to stick on the edge. Uh, let's see who's really in this class. Stephen Jones, undersized. Appalachian State Corner, probably going to the slot. Caleb Murphy, a lot of people liked. Uh, okay, John Ajoku, that's a good pickup. And if I'm going to be honest, that's probably their only real good pickup. So, meh. They got no one listed for Washington. Let's see who it really is. Let's see who they really get here. Uh, Mason Brooks, he was drafted by the USFL, but it's kind of whatever. Xavier Anderson, I was low on him. Okay, Mitchell Tinsley, that's probably the only guy I have substance to talk about, and I don't think he makes the roster. Yeah, kind of a meh UDFA class for uh, Washington, but this video has gone on long enough. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's have that nice, beautiful football discourse. And let me know of uh, some UDFA sign-ins that may have uh, happened. Oh, whoops. Hit my mic. That may have happened uh, while I was doing this video or later on. But until uh, next time, you be easy, my friends. Later.